Hi loves, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a how to be successful in 2018. I just thought I would give you some tips on how to make 2018 the year that you want it to be. So if you're interested in that, then let's just get right into this. Tip number one is to actually start waking up earlier. The earlier you wake up, the more you can get done in the day, the more motivated you feel, especially because you start getting more done so you're just feeling really good about yourself you're knocking out all these things that you have to do in just a day or a week I just feel like there's more time for relaxation at the nighttime the earlier you wake up the more you can knock out in a day so you'll feel better even on the weekends if you feel like you're even stressed on the weekends that will kind of eliminate some of that stress on the weekends. so tip number one tip number two is to make your bed every morning as soon as you wake up before you even brush your teeth before you go to the bathroom before you even make breakfast make your bed this will change your outlook on life a lot. I know it doesn't sound like it just because you're making your bed, but it will make you feel so much better even throughout the day. Once you are awake, you make your bed and it's all done for the day. That's at least one task that you completed for that day. It may not be a big task, but it's still a task. Your room will look so much better with your bed made. I mean, I feel like that's a simple thing everyone knows, but me personally, when I have my bed made and my room is like so spotless, I feel so at ease. It's insane. Like I just feel so much better about my life. Just a thing. I don't know. Trust me. So after a full day of running around, doing work, being stressed out, doing a million things, you will come home to a nice made bed and a clean room and you'll feel so much better about yourself. I promise you that. So tip number two, make your bed. Tip number three is to either buy a planner or make a planner or even have a planner. <laughs> you want to have a planner for 2018 if you want to start getting organized, if you want to start making goals, if you want to just organize your life a little better and just feel less stressed out, a planner is essential. You can write down your everyday tasks like if you have to go pick up the kids at this time and this time and run errands and go grocery shopping these days. You can write down what days bills need to be paid. If you're in school, you can write down what assignments are due what day. Like, you can write down every single thing you want in a planner, and the more organized you'll feel. Especially with me, I've been doing this lately with, like, what days I want to record, which days I want to edit, which days I want to post videos, what times. And I just feel like my life is on a schedule now, and I feel so much better. I know a lot of us get in that lazy mode <laughs> during winter break and summer break. If you're in college, or even if you're in any type of schooling, we do tend to get lazy, we want to get lazy, but trust me, your life will be so much more organized and you'll just feel better as a person overall if you just stay on a schedule and you stay motivated. So tip number three, get a planner. Tip number four is to set a goal and figure out the steps to achieve that goal. Instead of just setting a goal and being like, oh, by the end of 2018, I want to have $10,000 in my savings or anything like that. You can have multiple goals as well. Like you don't just have to have one goal. This can be a short-term goal, a long-term goal. It doesn't matter the length of the goal, but you just want to figure out the steps to achieving the goal. So you can actually achieve the goal. Isn't that the whole point? of a goal. Take a shot every time I say goal. <laughs> An example is saving 10 grand a year. Maybe figure out how much you actually need to put in your savings either every day, every week, or every month. That way you're going to achieve that goal if you stay true to the plan, you know what I mean? And that could be for anything, maybe losing weight, maybe exercising, maybe just getting better at makeup skills, maybe just um, getting better grades. It's the planning part that you really need to stick true to and then you will achieve the end product. So tip number four, set a goal and figure out the steps to achieve it. Tip number five is to start drinking more water daily. This will improve your health, on the inside and on the outside it will overall improve just like your mentality and you'll just feel so much more cleansed on the inside you'll have more energy you'll feel cleaner you'll look better you'll feel better and it will just overall make you a happier person so tip number five oh and it's not that hard and doesn't cost that much money so tip number five, drink more water. Tip number six is to either start working out, join a gym, or start watching at-home workouts. I know a lot of people have an excuse if like they're skinny, they don't have to work out, or just a lot of people 
think they don't have time or they just don't want to or they don't even think about it even if you are too busy to go to a gym every day you can YouTube so many videos for at-home workouts it's insane so just take 10 minutes out of your day choose an at-home workout and then just start doing it and you will feel so much better if you just start incorporating some type of exercise in your life even if it's just walking outside for 20 minutes a day at your lunch break or taking your dog for a walk every morning after you make your bed <laughs> um, it could be any type of exercising but I promise you your mentality on life will change and you'll see improvements in your body over time so tip number six start working out and my last tip for you guys is to start creating checklists. I know I use my notes on my iHome so much. It's like I create a note for every single thing. My descriptions for my YouTube videos, my descriptions for my Instagram posts, every single thing. I do um, set schedules for that week. I do, what else do I do? Like present ideas. I do like products that have been sticking out to me lately or just products that I don't like anymore like I do so many things like you can like check things off now which I think is so cool like they have these little bubbles that you can like check off when you're done with it awesome right keeps you organized keeps keeps your head on straight because the amount of things I have to do on a day-to-day -day basis for just YouTube is insane so I'm trying to juggle school work YouTube, appointments, you know, just the, just life, honestly. And I know you guys are too, so I just thought making checklists for whatever you need to make a checklist for would actually keep your mind on track and just help you out overall. So that is tip number seven. So those are all my tips to be successful in 2018. I hope you guys found this helpful. I know this truly helped me a lot. I know 2018 is going to be a very good year for me just because I'm going to start doing these things on a daily basis. I would love to hear just one goal you guys have for 2018 down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if this helped you out and subscribe to join my S squad and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves! By the way, Happy New Year!